Hey Leo, welcome to your June 2018 Who's My Future Partner reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Care. Welcome back. So nice to see everybody. Thank you for tuning in today. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button right over here. would love for you to be a part of my community here on YouTube. Um, also want to remind everybody, doing a little spray here of my sage spray, um, that this is a general reading. Um, if you want something a little bit more specific for you, then you would need a private reading and you can get that information below in the description box or just simply go to my website, theclaritycure.com. I meditated, I shuffled the cards. Let's see what we have for you, my beautiful Leos, for June. Okay. You received a leg up for your main oracle card. I'm going to show that to you here in a minute. I'm just taking a look. So, yeah, really critical. Um, I'm getting the sense that you're really moving on from what no longer serves you in your life, that it's time for change, something more meaningful in your life, that you want to feel more connected to who you are. Um, but there's going to be help coming in for you. Okay, maybe you're struggling. I see that um, there's some decisions to be made. I think you're juggling work and life, uh, family, possibly this new relationship. So, you know, receive with open arms because whoever this is coming in to help you in any form of fashion is uh, to help you delegate what you have going on which looks like a lot. So um, your overall energy is the four, four, the eight of cups. Okay. This is truly a transformational um, shift for you in June. And this is almost like you're saying to yourself, I choose, you know, I choose to make change and move forward in my life. It's like you're walking down a new path and you can see that this person's back is to these cups. So it's like you almost already made this decision and this is great, uh, but it looks like there's stuff you need to do. You may need um, help from others. So again, very strong message coming through on that for you, Leo. And uh, you're coming into your soul of return here pretty soon. Uh, let's see, Can, uh, Leo kicks in the end of July, July 23. So be ready. It's a very powerful time to be in your solar return. And this is good. looks like you're cleaning up the past or things that you want to change in your life. Now, um, almost like gearing up for your birthday month, okay? Any fears too, any emotions. You have a lot of pentacle cards here. Look, another one, Knight of Pentacles under here. Very strong indication of Earth energy here. I feel this uh, Earth sign coming in possibly to um, that you can meet here in the month of June. Looks like they're very, very busy as well as you. It's almost like you both are going through this transformation. But it looks like it works out in the end and there's definitely some time for celebration you have you have two twos two threes an ace which is great um twos are about balance duality partnerships right choices making it you know a decision of what you want to do and then you have two threes which is harmony creating union and expanding and growth it's threes are all about growth and expansion but it's going to be slow moving, or it has been. Let's just say it has been up until this point. And now, I think through your own choice and your own volition, you are ready. It's almost as if like you're unsatisfied with your life right now and you're really looking for change, uh, more meaningful, authentic change in your life. And it doesn't matter what you have. It's almost like a spiritual quest as well for some of you, maybe not all of you. Now, in relation to a future partner, okay, you have the three of pentacles, okay? What is this person like? So this is a very hardworking earth sign person, somebody that could be really involved 
um, in a project right now. Um, maybe they may not be able to fully commit in some way to you right now, but it's okay. I mean, um, things take time, right? Um, you're going through your own thing and this person is working very hard. It's almost as if I really feel like you're going to meet this person through work. A lot of earth energy here, a lot of tangible energy, um, focusing in on manifestation. This is all about manifestation. This is a cups card, but same meaning, tra uh, transformation and manifestation, you know, um, growing to uh, a point where you want to be and create and shape your life into something new. Now, um, yeah, how will you meet? So definitely through, I feel, work, a project. Um, maybe you both are at a place or you meet and, um, you know, you both have, wait, you're both like at this waiting point where you're, you know, waiting for your, I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself and talking in circles. I apologize. I need to spit it out. Um, the pentacles on these trees have been planted. Okay. The seeds were planted probably sometime in early spring. Okay. And this depiction is waiting, assessing, um, when are my coins going to fully blossom so I can reap what I sowed? Okay, really, really important. This could even, for some of you I'm hearing, move into the summer months as well as far as establishing this relationship. Um, but your first impression of this person, yeah, you know, it's almost as if with all this earth energy here, you're both focused on creating your future and um, focusing in on work and business and your finances it's great and this is a brand new beginning so you're definitely going to matriculate move through some of this emotional energy here that you have going on again like i told you this person even could come into your life to help you in some way so don't put your nose up at it um, maybe you're both are in this similar kind of business and you meet this person somehow and they come in to help you Right, manifest your projects. Uh, manifest what you're working on, your finances, your business. And this is how you two decide to have some kind of relationship on the next level. Now, most most my intention with these readings are always about love future partner. Okay. Sometimes I feel very occasionally um, that some of these readings are about a business partner. Okay. Regardless, I feel that there's definitely some kind of attraction here and the potential of um, a relationship to blossom more than in more than just a, a partnership business kind of way. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, how will they affect you? Two of Pentacles. So maybe you're like, ah, why am I meeting this person now? I'm so busy. Um, do I want their help? Yes, you want their help. Okay, please, yeah, please be open to that. Um, even though you have a lot going on and you're juggling a lot, because uh, this calls for stability. Stability is needed right now in your life. And you're juggling a lot. Your partnerships, right, maybe could be up and down. And you're like, you know, what does this person want from me? Maybe you feel like you're, you're, they're stressing you uh, maybe to make some kind of decision about the relationship. I feel as if this person may want you to commit maybe before you're ready is what I'm hearing. Because the two of pentacles is, um, it's, it's challenging, even though you could be on a positive path, it, it's about letting go of old stuff again, you know, like back here. It's almost as if I feel like you're you're going to be teetering for the month of June to find your footing. Let's put it to you that way. How's that? 
Okay, maybe you're juggling money as well. And this is because it's right next to Seven of Pentacles. You're like, holy sh, holy crap! I need my coins. You know, I need, I need my money so I can manifest this new beginning and prosper in my relationships. Now, how will they? I mean, what kind of relationship will this be? Wow, King of Pentacles. It's all about the Pentacles with you, Leo. My fire sign babies. Um, you know, the kings are the master uh, of, of the suits. You know, this, this is somebody that's earned his stripes, um, very well connected to who he is. You know, they co-create with spirit to manifest on this level. They've, they've kind of been through the journey, so to speak. And very smart businessman, very disciplined and committed. This is somebody that's worked very hard to get where where they are and I feel this energy for both of you actually through this transformation some kind of business connection you're gonna manifest a relationship together and this is about the long haul you know this person's in the relationship for a long for the long haul so <clears throat> there will be some kind of commitment here and I like that and definitely like I was saying earlier, there's all this earth energy here. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person coming into your life. Your obstacle, another two, two of swords. Maybe, you know, blocking yourself from, you know, embracing this opportunity. You know, um, is this what I want? Is this the right person? You know, uh, just just be super careful about being too closed off or guarded, okay? Um, especially if you're going through a change yourself. Um, and be careful about putting off this decision. Um, I think you're going to have to do something here in the month of June. What they're saying is you're going to have to stop procrastinating. And really embrace that it's time to move on. Sometimes, you know, we don't, it's not easy to always face what we don't want to see. And this is definitely, I think, why you're, why you're juggling making these decisions, because maybe you're in, in, in a bit of um, a denial here, you know what I'm saying? But all in all, in the end, you have the Three of Cups, and, you know, this is a time for celebration. Now, it could very well be that you decide not to move forward with this relationship. It is very possible. We're going to pull a clarifier and see what's going on, and you choose to move forward with your friends and feel like you made uh, the right decision. Uh, three of Cups, another um, emotional energy here. This is about spending time with the ones that you love, that you care about in your life, that make you, you know, your tribe, so to speak. This, these are your tribe, all right? Um, what else am I picking up here? But it's also about accomplishments. I feel like for some of you, you're definitely going to accomplish and manifest this business and this relationship all together. It's all going to come out in the end. And um, you're going to be out celebrating your success with the people that you care about. Okay, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Five of Swords. Okay, let's pull some clarifiers for you, Leo. Um, I haven't been inclined to do that really for any of the other signs so far, but I do want to see, I get a little bit more clarity here, especially on uh, your, your state of mind. And how it's going to work out in the end. It's a big jump from the Two of Swords to the Three of Cups. Let's see what we have going on. Get a little bit more information. I'm going to pull three clarifiers. This is the Morgan Greer 
deck. Very colorful, beautiful. All right. Give us some insight for our lovely Leos for June 2018. Let's clarify the reading. Oh my goodness, I apologize. I have the windows open. And somebody just went by on their motorcycle. Okay. Let's see what we have in. One more. Isn't that funny? The Three of Pentacles again. Working hard. Doing what you need to do. All right, feeling another Pentacles. Feeling like you've been out in the cold. Um, struggles even financially is what I'm hearing. And Queen of Pentacles. Whoa. King and Queen. Wow. You know, I really feel, I'm going to get the Knight of Cups here too. I definitely feel there's an offer of love here. Um, it's kind of ironic how it's going to work out and you're going to be like this little power couple over here. <laughs> it's really kind of cool. <coughs> and there is going to be an offer of love. There is going to be um, an opportunity to advance your relationships. Uh, this relationship with this um, earth sign person. But I'm looking here. It's almost as if you're rebuilding your life. Or you will be, okay? Or this person maybe had a rough time and they are now rebuilding their life. I just wanted to show you this. It's kind of interesting. Because you got the Three of Pentacles twice. So I feel this is about this person. You know what I mean? And what they've been through. And what's been um, kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Motivating them, right, to make the changes that they need in their life with the Five of Pentacles. Now, Fives, you know, are considered conflict energy, but not, uh, this, it's not always horrible, but it's about being on the road, you know, to recovery, It's almost like a life-challenging test about rising above. Um, the previous challenges I'm seeing here is a couple, though. It's almost as if, you know, th this person was in a relationship that didn't work out. Uh, what I love here is that, you know, help is always available to rebuild your life, um, and that's what they're doing. It's almost like a boost um, to their self-esteem, to go through this process, which you're going to have to be patient and let them do their thing. You know, maybe they were financially bankrupt at one point or got fired from their job or lost their job, um, you know, or they're building their finances again. Maybe, you know, they had no money. But this is about not being where you want to be in your life. Um, but making making change, making an opportunity here to move forward. So this is just lovely. Um, let's see here what the love cards have to say. I told you a love oracle. It's almost as if, if this is a business partner or even possibly a boss, um, I, th I think the decision is do you want to cross that line, so to speak, okay, or somebody in authority or somebody maybe even older than you, um, but in the outcome, you know, in the end, this is amazing, you know, this king and queen of pentacles here, power couple. All right, let's see what we have. 
love. We got a love oracle message for the month of June. My lovely Leos. Working through the hard times. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so there's no devil card here. There's nothing that really might indicate that, but you know, um, you know, take it with a grain of salt. You definitely don't want to bring in anything from the past. Okay, maybe maybe this is what you need to clear out of your life. And um, you know, rebuilding even your mindset as far as what you don't want. Um and, and, and finding your tribe and the right people that you uh, relate to and want in your life, if that makes sense, okay? I was just looking at the bottom. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Sometimes I like to see what's on the bottom of these two. So, all right, Leo, I hope that helped you um, and made sense to you. Ooh, have a wonderful June. We'll see you guys in July. What else did I want to tell you? Um, oh, May, my May love readings are still available over on Vimeo, and those are extended as well with a couple of different spreads. So um, go check them out, all right? And thank you in advance for anybody that does purchase a reading from me on Vimeo. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. You guys have a great month, and we'll see you in July. Take care. Bye-bye.